damn, son, where'd you find this? Now, this news comes out of Massachusetts. And in Massachusetts, there's a law which states, you cannot be caught with your pants down walking the streets or you will be arrested. Now, I didn't know if I believed this or not, so I looked it up. And yes, sir, it is actually a law that they have enacted. And not only that, they put out a PSA for you to watch to make sure that you can't say you didn't know. So I'm going to let you watch this PSA, and then I'm going to turn around and give you my opinion. Here it is. So you think you look pretty good wearing your pants like that, don't you? Underwear exposed. Hip-hop style. Well, there's something you may not know. You can be fined up to $300, be placed in a state prison for up to three years, or be placed in a county jail for up to two years. You still think it's cool? It's the law. Pull up your pants. Respect yourself. This message brought to you by the Black Mental Health Alliance of Massachusetts. Son of a bitch. Now, this is some breaking news, nigga. Some real breaking news. Y'all niggas. Ben, I, it's already racist up there in uh, Massachusetts and Boston and Baston and shit. It, it just is. It's just call it what it is. But I'm conflicted on this law. I like the law because niggas need to pull their motherfucking pants up. But I don't like the law because there are too many laws that target men. Why there ain't no laws targeting women showing cleavage, showing they big ass all over the place with their low rider jeans? If it ain't no damn law stopping them from showing they motherfucking valuables to the world, then you can't make it be in a law to stop men from doing it, can you? Kids sagging their pants is a trend that has been very controversial for years. Many oversensitive pussies are caused severe emotional distress at the sight of seeing a pair of pants sagging. Now for years, those of us who are not pussies have just had to deal with the whining of grumpy old people complain about it. But their level of butthurt has been brought to a whole new level now that they have passed a law in Chicago outlawing sagging pants below four inches of your waistline. I'm not making this up. This is fucking absurd. Personally, I don't really sag my pants, but if someone else wants to, I could not care less. Why the elevation of another person's waistline is even an issue is beyond me, but then again, I'm not a pussy. Not liking something or being offended by it is not a valid reason in and of itself to outlaw something. We have laws to protect people from murder, theft, harm, to protect their freedoms. Being, not being offended is not a personal right. If I get offended by people who wear fanny packs, should we outlaw fanny packs? How about we just make a law where anything that offends anyone is illegal? Now, if someone is sagging their pants and their ass is hanging out their skin, I can understand that that's inappropriate and people shouldn't be doing that. I have a solution to the whole controversy about this. If you wanna sag your pants, sag your pants. If you don't want to sag your pants, don't sag your pants. Shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Everybody wins. It's interesting how history repeats itself. All these grumpy old farts that hassle young kids for sagging their pants, they probably wouldn't do the same thing when bell bottoms were in or long hair or any number of style. Every generation has different styles. And they would look back on those and say, oh yeah, those were the good old days. But now when it's another generation's turn to start their trends, then suddenly the rules change. When I'm 50, 60, 70, 100, whatever, I'm not gonna give a fuck what a bunch of teenagers that aren't even my goddamn kids are doing. They're not even gonna be on my radar. Why would I give a shit about them? I'm gonna be too busy popping bottles of champagne and popping bottles of Viagra. People love to parrot that urban legend. Oh, well, you know, Sagging your pants was a trend started in prison by gay inmates to solicit sex. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's not true. I don't give a shit because someone sagging their pants has nothing to do with whether or not they're homosexual. This is a common tactic used by society to try to control or discourage the behavior of men. And it's often when you do something someone doesn't like, they somehow twist it around and it, it makes you gay. It's kind of like, oh, well, if you do X, 
some way, shape, or form that makes you gay. I read somewhere that this trend started because in the inner cities, many times, Low-income families don't have money to buy their kids clothing, so they get hand-me-downs from their older siblings. Many times, the pants don't fit, they sag down, and it eventually caught on and became a trend. Now, I, I think that's more believable than the whole gay inmate thing, or maybe it's this. Maybe people just do it because it's comfortable to them or they like it, and it has nothing to do with their sexuality at all. Imagine that. As a public service to the citizens of Chicago, I'm gonna illustrate with clothing what is legal and what is illegal under the new law. Now, if this piece of fabric right here is covering your ass, you're A-OK -okay and following the law. But, if this piece of fabric is the one covering up your ass, then we have some problems. As you can see, there is a dramatic difference between these two. It's almost night and day. This is very offensive, and if you drop below four inches, you're going to jail and getting a citation. My name is Clarence Martin, and I'm a council person for the 10th District of the city of Atlanta. And how I got into this, uh, along with my own observations, was a continuous um, conversation with teachers who were saying to me that this is a distraction in the, in the classroom, as well as adults you know, saying that as they walk in the street, they don't want to have to see young people's uh, underwear. What do you feel about that? Oh, honestly, I think they should concentrate more on education than pants packing. Pants packing because regardless if you pull your pants up, that's not going to make the children want to go to school. You know what I'm saying? First, you got to teach these kids pride. That's, the, that's where you begin, teaching them pride, not teaching them how to pull their pants up because pulling their pants up ain't going to change their mentality. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in the hood. I got my pants sagging all the time, but my head is on straight because I'm in college. You know? Pants sagging is not really a fad. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a lifestyle, really, because before blacks was doing it, there was um, rednecks in the country sagging their pants, butt cracking all that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a whole majority family, hip hop, TV. Everybody has a part to play, and it's not just the kids. Well, I feel personally there are much more bigger issues that need to be addressed than just some pants sagging. That's what makes us happy. That's why it's called the pursuit of happiness. Oh, oh, he rocking his too. Hey, tell, hey, tell him about no indigo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah? It's a statement. You know okay. What I'm okay. It's a statement. The whole statement is it's, it's like your swag, you know what I'm saying? They got it mixed up. The thing in this California and how they in the jail sagging their pants ain't got nothing to do with what's going on out here. You know? Break it down for me, bro. See, when you sagging your pants, it's a long history behind it. It's what we came from, you know what I'm saying? It, we came from being in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Our pants sagging represents the struggle. I'm just as black as they come, all right? Yeah. And, I, and I've never been told that. I was not, I wasn't taught that in school. Yeah. I didn't learn that at you home. Learn it in school. So, so where do you learn that code of ethics at? You learn that uh, from the streets. Oh, from the street. Oh, that's why. That explains. That explains. Go ahead, bro. They're trying to pass all these dumb laws. Talking about you can't. You gonna? They gonna give you a fine for sagging your pants? How they gonna fine you for sagging your pants? I'm a grown man. How you gonna tell me I can't wear my pants? I, I pay a hundred dollar for these jeans. I can't I can't wear my hundred dollar jeans. How I wanna wear my hundred dollar jeans? How about they find people for high water in their pants? How about if your pants too high? Yeah. That's a point. That's a point. That's you a point. need to get a fine. That's too tight. Too if you a dude wearing skinny jeans, kill yourself. Yeah. Second pants. Boy, generational lack of education lack of intelligence, and lack of sheer discipline. Your pants are not to be worn below your waist, that's what they make belts for. Indecent exposure is indecent exposure, period. A woman can't walk around with her chest out, I can't walk around with my front out, so why should you walk around with your back out? Sagging pants, that's, that's, uh, that's called fashion. That has nothing to do with, with race or anything. If they come out with tight pants, as you can see, everybody be trying to wear tight pants. I'm not wearing no Well, pants. I'm not wearing no tight pants, that's for sure. So I'm I think we, no we can agree to agree on that. Well, I've heard that it started from, um, what you might hear is that it started in the jails and so on and so forth, but doing a little bit of more research, I found out that in actuality, it goes all the way back to the slavery days where um, slave masters would have uh, their slave hands, specifically guys, that they were into. Uh, now this is, you know, this is not proven for myself. What it was was that that was a way that the slave masters were able to mark individuals that they may have been quote unquote been with. Mm -hmm. And then from that point on, you know, it just kind of sub subconscious. And we are talking about males now. Yes, okay. we are talking. Male to male. Male to male.
I feel like it's their own preference. I mean, if they want to sag, but I don't think it's it's fashionable. You know what I mean? I mean, when you get older, it's okay for like young, you know, 12 through 15 or something. But you know, when you see 25 year old men sagging, that's kind of tacky. The dress code ordinance of the sagging jeans is something that is targeting the African American community. Uh, I wouldn't say that because I've seen white boys. I, I moved here from Las Vegas, you know, and I've seen white boys sag. I've seen the Chinaman sagging. But, like I say, it's okay for a young boy, you know, between 12 and 15. But when you get to be 17 to 18, 20, you know, come on now. What's your definition of sagging? I think sagging is anywhere below the waist. If it's below the waist, I, I, I believe that's, that's the definition of sagging. But how do you feel about how that may be infringing upon the rights of other people? How's it offend, uh, offending? I don't like the way some people wear their clothes. I don't like the way people put their clothes together. But I don't go out there and tell them you can't wear stripes with plaids. I let them wear their clothes how they want to wear their clothes. Let me wear mine how I want to wear mine. That's it. One of my greatest fear is that elementary school children will begin to see this as something uh, vogue and something that they should also do. And so we're trying to take a stand on it now, and I think it's time for elders, I think it's time for uh, people who concern and care about our children to speak up and take a stand on this, this issue. This is what myself and five other members of the council have made a decision on. Uh, other people say we are trying to criminalize something uh, or do uh, profiling, and Again, uh, that is not our intent nor our mindset. That's not our orientation at all. We love children. We're not attacking them, but we do feel that we have some responsibility to uh, try to find a remedy to something that has gotten out of hand that nobody seems to have any control over. That is the why. That comes from their parents, though. Okay. That comes from your parents, you know, you get to raise your children up from, from a little child. Mm -hmm. And in this day and time, this world won't let you raise your child. Right, I agree. Yeah, they won't let it. So, you, so most children today raise themselves up. Mm -hmm. you know what, and, and you know why? That comes from drugs in our community, though. Yeah. So your children do out there what they do at home. Hey, man, all I can say is we need more dads and kids' lives. That's why I'm here taking care of mine. So I love y'all so much, man. Baggy pants is cool for a little, it's a little Arab, but you gotta step it up in order for you to have what you really want. Because in order for you to get what you never had, you gotta do what you never done before. Buck them up. Well, I really don't think they should charge people for wearing their pants sagging because it's what they choose to do. However, I don't think it's um, cute to wear them like below the knees or, well, you know, like sagging, showing your underwear. I don't think that's cute, but charging, I think that's a little out of hand okay. because, I mean, you can't tell anybody really how to dress. That's pretty much speech. You were sagging pants. Right. I understand that Councilman C.T. Martin of the uh, Atlanta City Councilman uh -huh. has uh, has pushing this, this thing right. towards the, uh, co the uh, commissioners of uh -huh. Atlanta. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Well, you know, uh, I think that some of the young men ought to pull their pants up, but we don't have the resources to go out and try to address or issue violations or citations for saggy pants or, or wearing your pants down too low. And so I'm hoping that uh, maybe they can come up with a compromise. Uh, I, we just don't have the resources. We have enough trying to deal with the crime problem in Atlanta as a worry about, you know, arresting young men or giving them citations for saggy pants. I think parents have a responsibility. You know, I have an 11 year old and I tell him, put a belt on. Okay. And so I don't let him leave the house with his pants hanging down. And I tell him, I better not catch him with his pants hanging down because, you know, I'm going to take something away from him. Right. You know, I commend C.T. Martin for taking that stance and that approach. But when it comes to law enforcement, I'm, my opinion is that we won't have the resources to go out and start, you know, issuing young people violations for wearing their pants down too low because I just think it'll cause a problem for us in terms of racial profiling. Based on the integrity of a, of a young man or any or an older man wearing baggy pants is and can be very degrading. That's all Hold right. on a minute, hold on You're a minute. You're gonna have that. Hold on. You're gonna have that. Yo, we out here on the street trying our very, very damnness to look at ways that we can appreciate ourselves as African Americans, ways that we can build. And what do we get? Egg in the face. Look at my boot, egg on my boot, but you know what? It took people like Dr. Martin Luther King, it took people like 
like uh, Malcolm X. It took those people like that to go out and put their lives on the line to make a difference. And you know what? Whoever threw those eggs over there, we love y'all anyway. I love you anyway. I'm a firm believer that if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And those of you who are so chicken crap to want to throw those eggs and hit the producer of somebody that's trying to make a difference in the community for you, shame on you. And you are in my prayers. Most definitely, I do not see this council passing anything that's going to put anybody in jail, number one. Number two, there's virtually no problematic way that you could enforce this. Uh, we don't have policemen. We hope they're all working on drug enforcement and burglaries and all itself and things of that nature. Uh, we don't have officers to do nothing but sit around and wait for somebody to say. Rest assured that we have looked under every rock. You see here, there are two notebooks here, and we're completing others. Uh, where we've asked people and made contact with people. We set up a task force of citizens, a very large one, with, even with young people on it, to debate this, to discuss it, to talk about it, uh, to let people vent on it, um, because we want to hear it, we want to know. In fact, I enjoy listening to people who try to defend it as much as people who say it should have been done a long time ago, and thank you for taking a stand. If you think about it as old against young, we need to be careful about trying to go against that because it's the same way that we approached natural hairstyles a generation ago. The older generation at that time thought that that was the worst thing in the world, but it survived and it has flowered and grown and become the norm. Even though we revolt as a people against pants sagging in so many ways, it's also just a sign of our young people who are in revolt, just as uh, every generation of young people is in revolt. The laws concerning pants sagging really are discriminatory. We are not going to be hearing much talk about the fact that white women who show bra straps are equally in danger of being fined and having other kind of problems because of this law. But I will bet you that they're not going to be arrested, they're not going to be charged, they're not going to be shown in the media anywhere near as much as black men are going to be. I mean, when you say a young man out in the street showing, showing their tail or whatever, it's disrespect to the young ladies too. Because, first of all, their parents, they, they hadn't raised them. I know they hadn't raised, they weren't born to be sagging. And they wouldn't, in the household, half of them, they just do it when they get out in the street. They don't know the meaning of it. So if they don't know the meaning of it, I don't know why should they do it. There will come a day. This jail style is no more. Still wide legged, you will walk wide leg like an open door. Your lower body will be jacked because you thought this style was whack. Pants sagging, feet dragging, walking to a hip hop beat. You know I'm keeping it real, fellas, or you wouldn't be hearing me. What comes to mind when you think of sagging pants? Uh, sloppy, uneducated, um, just disrespectful, okay. young kids, mostly male, and I don't like it. Well, you know a lot of females are doing it today as well. I know. Um, unfortunately, I do know that, and it's just, it's not okay. All kind of kids are doing it. Um, my son, you know, I had to constantly fight with him over it. And, and even today, and he's 28, and, you know, he'll walk in and I'll say, for heaven's sakes, pull your pants up. You know, and they're, they're not all the way hanging down, but they're down, you know, and when he's being casual and he's not at work, um, I'm still bugging him about wearing a belt. And, you know, so, and it goes back to high school when he was trying to be trendy and fashion forward and whatever. So. In general, you know, it probably doesn't look great, right, but, um, you know, if, if the person wearing them is a good person, that's really what ends up making a difference. I mean, you know, if somebody were coming over to my house and picking up my daughter with baggy pants, I'd probably raise an eyebrow at first, but then, you know, if they're, if they're a good person, that's okay, even though I might think it's maybe not the best look, but yeah. You need to read, okay. do research. And when you do that, young people do not read. They do not do research. I, I agree with you on that. Right, so when you do that, then you get a full view of uh, really the stigma of any fashion that's uh, permanent today. Okay. That's my thinking. Sa 
that not look? See, they don't know that come from prison. See, that's prison wear. They need to know the truth. So all you, they, they think that's a style. No, and that's what they want you to wear. So when you do run from the police, they can catch you. Because you can't run with your pants down. Well, I would prefer that they not wear baggy pants. I think um, it's a matter of discipline. And I think they look better. And I think it's a... It's a little bit dangerous. I've seen them walk around where they almost stumble and fall on their own pant legs. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So I'm against it. I think that it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bad thing and that it shows a sloppiness, sort of a don't give a damn about anything and is not really showing them off to their best. And I would hope that they'd wake up and realize that they're hurting themselves, not the rest of the world and that they would change their, their plans and fix up a little bit. I think that we all go through periods of style. Uh, I think that in my generation, uh, people were wearing their hair uh, slick back like Elvis Presley. Uh, I just believe that every era uh, goes through its own styles in their hair, in their uh, uh, clothing, in their shoes, and, and, and we're all uh, different. And I guess I sort of celebrate the difference between us uh, and think that people have a right to look however they wish to look, provided provided that it is not offensive to others. Now there is one piece of this that I think is offensive to others and that is when both men and women let their pants get so low that their private parts uh, show, including sort of their rears in ways that I find just to, it's, not, it, 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 it's offensive to a lot of people. But, uh, you know, uh, I bet that when they grow up, they'll be wondering, you know, about the unusual styles of their own children and, and, and grandchildren. So I see a lot of it as generational. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold up. What? And I'm oh, like, see, get the outfit, get the outfit. See, my, see, my money ain't long as yours, so I can't do all that, right? No, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no, trying to... No, no, no. I'm not hold trying up, hold up. No, it ain't that. I'm just trying to show everybody in the hood you can dress classy because it gets you further in life. All that hood dressing, yeah, it run out in the end. In the end, it run out. When you go to corporate America, you got to be dressed for corporate America. You can't go to corporate America dressed like a thug. First impression is the best impression. So however you want somebody to know you, your first impression gives off that first impression. So if you dress like a thug and I'm, hey, I'm all about the streets, that's the persona that you're going to get from people. If you suit up and boot up and dress like you got some common sense, a person going to respect you better. Absolutely. So it's all about self-respect. It's all about self-respect. It's all about self-respect. Because self-respect will be your best presentation. You know, unfortunately, we live in a culture where, you know, one in three or one in four, I've heard different statistics of our young black men at some point find themselves involved in the criminal justice system. And, you know, obviously in jail and prison, they don't allow you to wear belts, so your pants sag. And every time, there's always something that, is seen as controversial that young people take on as being cool. I mean, young people are renegades by nature. My personal opinion, do I do it? No. Would I allow my child to do it? No. Man, I just think it's all about, you know, who you are as a person and where you're going. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different people that express their ways different. I remember a lot of people used to talk down on me, how my parents look. Really, it was just my mindset, my attitude. And you know, that same attitude took me from zero to an eight-figure company. You know what I'm saying? Over a 10-year span. Put God first and go hard, man, and all your dreams will come true. That's real. And, um, you know, we would like for the young people to put their heads up, pull their pants up, and get their grades up. Uh huh. Talk about the sagging biz. Uh, I'm trying to raise my kids. And no nine, we all trying to live. Come on. Oh, swag. Come from the slavery days and mention been had by your master. Male been raped, such a disaster. Hearing laughter. Is this what you follow after? Is it that? You want to act like you in jail with it? Take your belts, life's grades, you fail. Can't even run. Look funny when you walk, pants below your butt. You look gay, real talk. Now you still sagging. I feel that's a shame. Come on, ladies. Call out that lame if you call.
call it a trend, please put it to an end. Be a friend, tell all the boys, the men. We gon' put it to rest, sag and decease. A moment of silence, sag and rest in peace. Uh-huh.